It was a moment of renewal and relief for Tudumberi community following last year's devastating drone attack as Governor Obasani officially inaugurated a 25-bed primary health care center equipped with an ambulance and a skills acquisition center designed to empower local youths with employable skills. Speaking at the event, Governor Obasani reaffirmed his administration's commitment to ensuring justice for victims of last year's tragic drone attack, promising to hold those responsible accountable. We shall also flag up a free, comprehensive medical and surgical care in the community. Till this moment, I have received a lot of assurance from the military that those that were responsible for that unfortunate incident will be brought to book. I have no doubt in my mind that promise from the federal government will be fulfilled. But as we are speaking, on our part as a government, we will do everything to continue to stand with them and fight for their interests and their justice. The governor also highlighted additional projects aimed at restoring and improving the community. This is a six kilometer Ashpak 2 road from uh, the airport to, to Dimbiri. Uh, you, you had the contractor have just said it, that uh, in the next uh, four months, by the grace of God, we will be coming back to commission this six kilometer Ashpak 2 road. Speaking on behalf of the Dimbiri community, Magaji Adamu expressed deep gratitude to Governor Basani for giving the community renewed hope. We don't have anything to do except do what uh, God done to us. So for that, we thank for all support that we get from the government. In addition, Governor Basani distributed critical support materials, including 300 bags of rice, 300 bags of maize, and 500 bags of fertilizer to assist the community in its recovery and development efforts. As Tudumbiri continues to rebuild, Governor Sani assured the community that his administration will prioritize security, development, and the delivery of essential amenities to ensure a brighter future for all residents. Abimaja Moses, AIT News, Kaduna.